That looks really good. Okay. Looks so good. All right, so we are back again in my friend Kim's kitchen. She wanted me to cook her dinner tonight. Again, I love it. Zuma Toscana soup from Olive Garden. So amazing. I had this last night for dinner and she's like, can you please cook it? So here she is over here. She's chopping up onions. Hey babies. <laughs> so let's get started. Um, if you guys want to watch this, stay tuned. And then how many pieces of bacon did you end up chopping up? Like oh, half a no. package? So here's so, the regular package. So here's the and bacon And I did package. that much, so. So the recipe calls for thick cut bacon, but we just use this because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> so we cut up the bacon like this and then we're gonna put that in um, the Instant Pot here and I am going to put that saute. on saute mode. And we will just wait until this says hot and then we will put the bacon inside. Okay, so you're gonna want about five to six small to medium sized potatoes and just chop them. I like them in this size. Um, you could do them whatever in chunks if you want them in chunks, but you could do that. You're also gonna wanna do one um, onion diced. So we did that. All right, so it says hot, so we're gonna pour the bacon inside. And we're just gonna mix it around until the fat is kind of rendered out. You don't want it super crispy, but you want it like cooked, you know, enough. I'll show you when it's, when I take it out, what it looks like. So I just took out the bacon. Um, you can kind of see how it's not super crispy, but that's kind of the texture that you want once you take it out. So now there's nothing in here right now. So now we're gonna put the sausage in here and uh, brown that up. All right, so now I put the sausage in, we did one pound mild sausage and one pound hot sausage. Um, that way it gives it less spice and it's not as spicy. If you want more spicy, I would say do both pounds hot. If you don't want any spice, do both pounds mild. That'll be easier. So now we're just gonna crumble it up and brown it. If you want to um, make your um, soup a little less um, greasy, you can take out about two, to three teaspoons of the grease before you put the onions in. I don't know if you want less, what is Unconscious. it? I don't know, yeah, what the word would be, but um, it's up to you, your preference. I did it with um, not draining it at all. I know the recipe says you can, but uh, that's totally just your preference on what you wanna do. So, up to you. All right, so I've been uh, cooking up the sausage here, so we're gonna put the onion in. And then we're gonna cook that up until the onions are about translucent. I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of oregano. The recipe actually calls for one teaspoon, but when I've made it, it's a little bit too strong of oregano flavor for me. My husband thought it was great, but I thought it was a little too much, so I just cut it to a half a teaspoon. So if you wanna do a full teaspoon, go right ahead if you like the oregano more flavor. If you want a little bit less, do the half teaspoon. All right, we're also going to add uh, garlic. This looks like a lot, but it's five cloves of garlic, and we added a little bit more. They like garlic, so do I. <laughs> so I added more too. So we're just gonna dump that in there. You wanna do that after the onions are pretty translucent. We are going to add um, six cups of chicken broth. And you wanna use reduced sodium on the chicken broth. I think if you use um, the regular kind, it's gonna be too salty. I did the reduced sodium and it was perfect. It wasn't too salty and it wasn't um, too unflavorful. Cause you're gonna be adding Parmesan cheese and the sausage has a little and salt. And the sausage, yeah. And you can always add salt, you can't take it out. So I would always go with the reduced sodium. Now we're gonna mix that up. Yeah, mix it up. Nummy. It smells so good, you guys. You need smell of vision. I know, right? We always say that like that. Wish that was a thing. Also recommend scraping the bottom of your Instant Pot so you get the extra little goodness that's oh, fun. <laughs> that's uh, stuck on the bottom. So you want that kind of to come up. We had cut the potatoes. We put them in water so that they wouldn't get all browny. Yes. And then I just drained them now so they're ready to roll. Yes, yeah, so you want to put them in there. You can, Kim. Um, the bacon last or the potatoes? You can do, it doesn't matter, bacon or potatoes. Ah! <laughs> All 
All right. All right, we'll mix those around and then we'll put the bacon in. Okay. In the pool, boys. All right, here we go. Boop. Bacon. All right, we're gonna cover that. Me all too. Up. <laughs> Let me cover this all up. You wanna make sure your potatoes are covered in all the liquid. You don't want them sticking out of the liquid. We look good here. We will put our lid on. <laughs> I love my little sound. All right, we're gonna turn off saute mode. Uh, her cancel. Button. Cancel, hers is a little different than mine. So then we're gonna do ceiling up here. Manual five. Manual, where's your manual? Right here. Here. Uh, pressure cook. Oh, yours says pressure cook. Oh, mine sorry. says manual. So a uh, different, depends on the one you have, but she has a little newer one than mine. So pressure cook and you're gonna do five minutes. And then you were gonna let it go. It takes five minutes to cook and then I will show you what we will do next. All right, it just went for its five minutes. It took about 20 minutes to come up to pressure. So we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes, just natural release pressure. And then after the 10 minutes, we will do a quick release up on top. We are at the 10 minute mark, so now I'm going to quick release this little pressure guy. Come on. There we go. So we're gonna let that release. Once the red knob goes down, we will open this up. We're gonna put the kale inside. All right, so our little knob friend there, he just went down. Check it, 11 minutes it took for the pressure to completely release from the pot. So we're gonna open this up. Get a facial. Oh yeah, facial, uh-huh. <laughs> Every time that's a great facial. Okay, so we're gonna dump the kale in here. Got a bunch of kale here, and so what you're gonna do is <laughs> dance it around. <laughs> so you're gonna wanna take it off the big um, stem there. I don't know what it's called, something, I don't know. Stock. Stock, is that what it's official? I don't know. And then you'll put it in a colander. You'll wanna rinse it off, clean it, and kind of a rough chop on it, so you're not gonna wanna chop it up really small, just so they're not in these gigantic big leaf pieces probably like yeah like that size. yeah that's like a good because it will wilt down yeah so then um that will be perfect we did about i don't know if you see the bowl here you can kind of do less you can do more kind of however you want you want to mix it in here mm -hmm. just gonna get it all in there oh steamy looks amazing okay nothing's stuck so mm -hmm. that's good. Yeah. All right, so now after the kale's all mixed in, we're just gonna put the lid back on for five minutes just so it softens the kale in there. And then, um, yeah, you don't have to latch it or anything, just set it on top. And then um, we'll set this for five minutes and then um, we will add the cream. All right, so now we have one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream or heavy cream, whatever <laughs> you wanna call it. But usually in the store, that's what it's called. <laughs> And then we're gonna mix it up. There we go. That looks really good. Okay. Looks so good. So, so good. So there's our finished product. If you haven't already checked out her other Instant Pot YouTube videos, you really should. <laughs> I do like 90% of my cooking off of her videos. I know it's so ridiculous, but I'm not a confident cook at all. So if I have short videos that are easy to follow, that's my key to success. And I always watch hers. <laughs> Has nothing to do with the fact that I'm her best friend. Yes. Not Doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> You're not biased or anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm not a confident cook. So having somebody walk me through it really helps. Yeah. It really does. It helps me too when I'm trying to learn some new stuff. So you're not the only one out there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for uh, more videos to come. I don't know what my next Instant Pot video will be. We will see. So probably something yummy, of course. Why not? Um, anyway, all right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.